Yellowstone eruption. This is what a supervolcano explosion looks like. New clues beneath one of Earth's most powerful supervolcanoes reveal how it might erupt, unleashing global devastation. Almost every month, there's news about the Yellowstone supervolcano making headlines somewhere, and this one was no exception. Maybe it's a swarm of earthquakes, or small, steam-fueled explosions, that get the hearts of news editors and disaster responders racing. at times like this, a new study that reveals the prospect of the next big explosion. Sometimes it seems as if the whole world is waiting for Yellowstone to erupt, in a way, almost craving it. So what do these latest findings reveal? And are they good news or bad news? Let's dig deeper. In January 2025, researchers from the United States Geological Survey, USGS, published a new analysis in the journal Nature that revealed exactly what's happening beneath Yellowstone. By measuring and mapping the electrical conductivity of rocks, they were able to paint a three-dimensional picture of how much magma is present and where it's located. This is because molten rock can have a conductivity up to a thousand times greater than solid rock, making it quite easy to spot. The bad news is that there's a lot of magma down there. The good news is that it's not all in one place, nor does it fill a large underground void. Most of the magma, in fact, is contained in pockets, each comprising 2 to 30 percent by volume of the hot, dense rock they contain. Furthermore, the areas of rock that contain the magma aren't all unified, so even if the volcano erupts, it's unlikely to all erupt at once. However, the most interesting revelation this research tells us is where the next hotspot of volcanic activity will be.
It turns out that the magma isn't evenly distributed. Most of it is concentrated beneath the Yellowstone caldera in the northeast, a giant crater left by the last super eruption 630,000 years ago. About 400 to 500 cubic kilometers, 95 to 120 cubic miles, of sticky, silica-rich rhyolite magma resides here. This is far more than the volume of magma erupted in the massive Mesa Falls eruption in Yellowstone some 1.3 million years ago. Furthermore, hot basaltic magma rising from the mantle beneath pumps even more heat into this part of the volcano, keeping the rhyolite magma hot and, over time, increasing the total volume of molten rock. This may sound confusing, at least it is, but remember that magma is everywhere. All these pockets of molten rock need to connect and pool together before they reach enough volume to erupt in a single, catastrophic eruption.